Hello and welcome to Andy's Pacifico. Now, with a race like this, mechanicals are sadly inevitable. So the race provides mechanical cover universally to any entrant. So I'm here with head honcho Felipe Vasquez. Felipe. Hey. Thank you very much for having me on. A pleasure. I'm going to ride with Felipe today, basically see what's going on. Hopefully not be too much dead Ho weight. Hopefully. Hopefully yeah. helping yeah. and provide assistance to the racers. This is Mechanic Support 101 with Felipe Vasquez. So at the top of stage two, but still on day one, about to drop in with mechanical support with Felipe, will be the last men down the hill to basically sweep up any riders that have any mechanicals. And the cool thing is it's universal, so anyone gets the help and hopefully, you know, we can get people out of a spot of bother. The, the terrain here is gnarly, it's rocky, it's rough. Also, it's incredibly slippery. I've never ridden anything like it. Word on the street is that Felipe is a bit of a kind of Chilean mountain bike legend, and I'm guessing an absolute pinner. So I'm gonna try and not be a liability and just make it down and he can go off and rip ahead, but I'll follow him for as long as I can. So I think it's also really cool to see just how not only you have to be a good mechanic, but also a really competent rider. So about to drop in with Felipe. Follow him down with mechanical support. I think he's going to disappear fairly quickly, but we'll see how we go. Oh my God, I can't see. <laughs> Dust is crazy. This guy does not hang about. Jesus, look, Christ. Stuff like this. This stage back there was just asking for, but it's just so brutal on bikes. So that thing that does to the, Dragging brakes, all that force going through the bike. That's why you need decent mechanical support because obviously there as well, if it's not just energy you're putting into the bike, it's where crashes happen and it can happen easily. Oh, nice. Thanks, Felipe. Yeah. Pinned, mate. I couldn't see all oh, because of the dust. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to follow for sure. The dust is so thin. If it's wind, don't take it out inside right away. Yeah. Because it's because what's the kind of common mechanicals you would see on a stage like that, do you think? Maybe derailers. Derailers. It goes banging all over and yeah. then pull into the spokes if you go into yeah. high gear. Yeah. In low gear, I mean. Yeah. No, so. so Felipe, we've followed down the trails. You certainly know how to move a bicycle quite quickly. You're having a lot of fun. And I imagine as a mechanic, to cover a race like this, you'd want a backpack, a hundred liters crammed full of everything, but that's not realistic. Can you talk us through the parts in this backpack and the decisions you've made to hopefully cover the most eventualities? Okay. I have been riding and racing for uh, quite a few years. Yeah. So I know and I've seen a lot of like uh, stuff breaking, stuff that can uh, fail during the, on the trail. And we decided to bring the stuff that you are going to use the most for sure. I'm not going to bring like a vice or something like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll show you. Shock pump, yeah. Tire pump, Torx wrenches, pretty much all sizes. All sizes, yeah. Tire levers. Yes. Of course. What, what else is there <laughs> to be said? But yeah. Uh, power links, 11 speed and 12 speed. Pulleys. Oh, that's a good one. That's something people will probably forget about. Core extractor. Oh, nice. Uh, nipple uh, wrench. Tire gauge, tire plugs, oh, yeah. chain cutter, what else do we have here? CO2s. Yes. And the heavy, heavy metal things <laughs> here. I've been dropping stuff over the days. Started heavier, I'm getting lighter. Once to you get close to the beach because there's less rock, less stuff that you can kill your bike on. Mm -hmm. So I start removing some uh, heavy parts. Um, but, well, wheel breaker, hat, goggles, glove, that's for me. <laughs> 27 camera, 29 camera, uh, inner tube, sorry, inner yeah, tube. They look like quite um, thick ones as well. Yeah, right? one is thick. Yeah, the other one is like slight, I usually use, is my, that I use on the, on the bike. Oh, yes. I don't know the name of this in English, but yeah. definitely we call it Cayman. Yeah, great. And yeah. you can grab pretty much everything. Yeah. And break everything, and you can <laughs> through um, rotors and stuff like that. I was uh, uh, 
use the French one the first uh, few uh, days. The Nipex. The Nipex, yeah. Yeah. And just in case you go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Body mechanic. <laughs> yeah, individual um, Allen wrenches. Yeah. Zip ties. Uh, uh, derailleur cable. Right. Actually, I'm, I'm carrying two. And up here I have battery oh, for, for AXS, just yeah. in case someone lost his. Another cable, small, small uh, zip ties and just in case I have to fight a lion, <laughs> a knife. Yeah. And I'll really hang it for myself. And if you were to race an enduro tomorrow, not as a mechanic, but as a racer, how much of this wouldn't you take? I would oh. take CO2, yeah. power link, yeah. um, Allen wrench. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I think what's really interesting is, I mean, we had it actually with our very own Rich Payne, where he had quite a small motor tool. Uh -huh. And there are some things on a bike. I have a motor tool too. You have to I have, have like next, next here. Yeah. If I, I need to do something like quick, mm -hmm. I use the mood tool. But if I need to go like uh, easy and do it stuff properly, I use the individual Allen wrenches. Yes, yes, yes. Easy to work with. Nice. And what's the most common style of mechanical at a race like this? Tire plugs. Tire plugs. Derailleurs. Yeah. Like straighten them up at the derailleur hangers. Mm -hmm. um, maybe get rid of some dents in the rim mm -hmm. to make it tubeless again. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. If you and some ch tweak chains and stuff like that. And what is maybe the one advancement in bike tech that's reduced mechanicals? Is it cush core? Is it cush core yeah. and and Big and, tires. and 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 uh, tubeless tires for sure. Yeah. Tubeless, if you ask me, is probably for us that we live in a place that's full of thorns and mm -hmm. rocks. It's a must. You can ride with a tube. You will last like 20 minutes with a tube in yeah. here. Yeah. And yeah, inserts as well have been, for long injuries like this, totally. game changer. You need inserts for sure. Yeah. Game changer, you, you said it. Hola, payaso! And Felipe is off on another stage to provide that universal mechanical cover. So his backpack was pretty cool. He seems to be having a lot of fun. Get in the comments below. What do you think he's missing, if anything at all? I personally think it's pretty comprehensive. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.